We are Luca, Sara and Lucio from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. After testing our self-converted minivan Luigi as a family of three, we decided to sell it and look for a bigger vehicle. In Germany there is a strong camper van culture and you find a pretty thick market for second-hand RVs. So in the last episode we left Italy. How do you feel to be back on the road? <laughs> I'm excited! <laughs> the anxiety feeling is going away and the adventurous uh, Adrenaline, uh, it's coming back. Hello, beautiful people. We are at the first uh, dealership uh, to see the first vehicle. Luce is super happy to be here. If you think that we woke up uh, in Italy at uh, Sara's uh, father's house uh, and then we managed to cross uh, Austria, enter in Germany, see a vehicle, and now hopefully see a second one. Look at the size of this one. Okay, this could be my dream vehicle. In today's episode, the research continues. Okay, first one. No. Will we find the vehicle that will check all the boxes? Good morning, beautiful people. In a few minutes, I will show you where we slept last night. And... Uh, then we will start our day visiting other vehicles. It was super cold uh, last night, it was like about 10 degrees Celsius outside, but we survived. We survived, Lucia. We survived. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So here is where we slept. At the end of this road, there is this huge parking space, parking lot, where I think there are a few hikes starting from here. It was very, very quiet. Last night there were at least 10 vehicles. up for the night we'll try to close the bed in a way that we have already the blanket, the blanket and the sheets everything <laughs> the baby <laughs> the baby luckily we brought this one with us because we said ah oh, it's summer it will not be Freezing, but it was freezing. freezing. No, it's okay. It's pretty late. We were thinking to start at nine, but you know, with the baby, you never know exactly. But Lucia slept through the night. She woke up at seven and that was six thirty, and then she slept till nine. And a breastfeed her. Thank you. And. Now we're getting ready and we will hit the road. We're very close to the first dealership. Luckily, we slept here because we were closed. <laughs> and we'll see you there. We arrived at the third dealership, the first one today. And we have a lot of motorhomes, uh, vans, uh, one mobile, uh, they call it here in <laughs> Germany, to see to. Very good, a... Luca. <laughs> And they are all, not all, but a lot of them are in our budget. So, this This is puzzle. 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 Is that good? Puzzle. Okay, this is 16,999. Okay. Let's this, start. This was the one that we saw online. It's, it's kind of uh, the one we saw yesterday. Okay. But uh, this one is uh, 2002. The and one. It's a Peugeot. It's a Peugeot, but it's kind of the same vehicle. Okay. It has uh, double the kilometers, uh, so it's okay. uh, 252,000 kilometers, uh, and uh, it's 2002. And uh, let's see if it has uh, air conditioned, like uh, the one we okay. saw yesterday. Okay, so I already see it has no air conditioning. Okay, no air conditioning. So this is a 
one of the check boxes uh, that we wanted. But we said that we can install some. Yeah, if the price is good in Italy, we have a lot of these in the junkyards uh, where we can get the air conditioning and just install it. So this one becomes a bed. It's kind of the same of the, the one we saw yesterday. You know what I'm noticing? This is uh, taller. Yeah. It's taller. It's taller, yeah. Uh, but you will not like uh, the bed back there. It's small. So it's not a double bed, but it's a single bed. So it's kind of... Yeah, you two. have two beds. Uh, one up there, okay, so one down here. This is for the kids and this is for the adults, do you think? No, yeah. it's, too, it's too short. No, because you, you this one you turn it around. Mm. When you turn this around, it's on the same level of the seat. Okay. So you can basically lie down until the, the end of the... You can notice that this is older. There are some pretty damaged parts. Here as well, because this is it's not real wood, it's just... Yeah, just cover. Also the kitchen is not like uh, you wanted, uh, the one that you close. Uh. But this is this is bigger here. It's bigger and you because don't have... you don't have the fridge. Uh. Yeah. You have the fridge over here. Yeah. Basically here is good for two kids uh, back here yeah. and a couple in the front. That is not bad. Right? It's not bad, but it's not the, the thing that you wanted. No. You wanted our bed back here mm -hmm. and uh, over there for uh, um, the kids. Yes, this is what I was looking for, but you know. <sighs> okay, first one. No. Again, uh, this one is uh, 2001, 217,000 kilometers, uh, and it's a Peugeot. So it's one year uh, older than that one, but the price uh, is uh, 19,900. Uh, 19,000. So 3,000 euro more. More, yeah. and it's older. So let's see why it is uh, more expensive. Okay, also this one, uh, no air conditioning. And you can tell that it's super hot here or, inside. Or maybe yes, I don't know. Maybe we can ask. We can ask. The layout here is different. Klimalange. 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 It yeah. means that it has. Yeah, but remember, this doesn't have the two seats. To see ah, to okay. in the back. I would like to have okay. Luce close to us yeah. here with the So table. this is the problem. We found a lot of uh, ads uh, with uh, vehicles like this one, but our problem is this one it has two seats uh, and uh, where we will put uh, Luce and uh, another person. I it's think here this is registered for other two people, but I don't like to have Luce far back away. Here, yeah. Yes. Also because in Italy, the law is that uh, the two people that um, are registered should be facing uh, front, of, the front of the van with the three points uh, seat belts. So these are old vehicles. We didn't have uh, those laws at the point, uh, but right now they are and we want to be safe. Uh. Yeah. And this is again. This is the same. Uh, as the first yeah, one. you can see there, there how how tall it is. How tall it is. Uh, yeah. The deal should be having the bed like this uh, yeah. back there and having the seat over here, yeah. just like the one we saw yesterday. Next. Next. This is a Westfalia Volkswagen California coach, almost 17,000 euro. And Luca always wonder, can I stand up in this vehicle? Yes. Yes, I can. can. <laughs> yes, I can. But uh, 
this, there are lots of these uh, vehicles uh, for sale but uh, this is not the kind of vehicle we are looking for because you have the bed up here that you need to close when you close this bed you cannot longer stand up because you have the bed uh, coming uh, basically all the length of the van it's a little bit claustrophobic yeah it's super small then they are slow oh no and uh, yeah no this one is the deathless is 2002 and it's 23,900. This is bigger for sure. We don't know yet if we like uh, this kind of vehicles. Uh, we were looking more for a van, not for a RV. But then uh, when you come inside, uh, mm. you have this feeling of, uh, wow, a huge space. Uh, like we can sit here, work, uh, with I mean, also uh, Lucha playing here, she could have like some some room to try to stand up and walk the yeah. first time. I mean, this is a, like having a little cabin, a little house. Yeah, this is the point. Yeah, and you don't need to turn around seats, uh, move anything. Uh, you are ready to drive. Uh, and uh, you don't need to move tables. I mean, if you want to sleep uh, in four, you will need to lower this table and prepare here another bed. But when it's only the two of us and little Luce, it becomes something that we don't need to change things every day. But the downside is that it's really big. Uh, it's not a van, uh, so I don't know. To me, like the only thing that I don't like when a camper is already done, Usually these old campers, like Lucky Liu, when we bought Lucky Liu, they all have the same fabric, the same color of the wood that I don't like. It's this kind of orange, this old style uh, camper. So I like that it's spacious, but I don't like really the aesthetic of these campers, but I know they are really comfortable. You have a, a huge storage, a huge, huge toilet. Uh. Yeah, but you know this yellow plastic. Yeah. This is really what. It, it was white at once upon a yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. So you can feel that it's really mm -hmm. old. <laughs> but. Yeah, this is huge. Why we are not looking for empty vans? Because we would like something that it's ready to go. Like that we buy it and then we can start traveling again. So the point is not to buy a van and do the conversion, but it's to buy a van and start traveling. This is what we are made for. And yeah, we can't wait to start traveling. Yeah, maybe in the future buy something yeah. uh, and convert it and, uh, you know, make it. But right now is not the project that we want to do now. We want to travel and uh, maybe in the future because it takes a lot of time to convert a van especially yeah. if we would like to convert a four-wheel drive all by ourselves yeah but it could take a few months yeah right now baby luce is too small to you know it's a full-time job uh, converting a, a van uh, if you are doing it right and you want to do it fast in order to travel especially because we like to work together luca and i and yeah. right now in this moment it's it's not easy to work together, the two of us. This is a motorhome, it's an Hemer 1996 and it's 26,999. And this I was really curious to see inside because this looks really like a home. Okay. <laughs> Welcome wow. to the huge villa. <laughs> this is a huge, huge, huge. So, Sara, let's start from there. Yeah. We have uh, air conditioning, uh, mm -hmm. we have these two seats that you can turn around and we have also a bed uh, that comes oh, down. Uh, yeah. So bed number one. <laughs> this is a lot of room ahead of yeah, you when you're driving. A, a computer, it's you like can a bus. Everything you need. Then we have the two seats uh, that is a must for us. Uh, the kitchen. Then we have, ooh, I love when the fridge is not down there, but is up here, yeah. that you don't need to, you know, bend uh, yourself uh, in order to open and get things. Uh, when you start getting older, you start uh, appreciating these things. <laughs> then you have the toilet over here. Uh, with a separate shower in this case. The shower and... 
And uh, Sara, mm -hmm. a mirror. <gasps> a mirror. And then the bed here. This is long. Probably almost seven. Mm -hmm. We will check now. And uh, what's the age? It's 94. 1994. Nine. Yeah, it's kind of old. Uh, yeah. On this one, we could probably yeah. bring our scooter with us. This is to bring a motorcycle or a scooter. And this is good. Okay, you have a nice dinette with four seats. So you're gonna have to turn this around and then there is a bed and there is the kitchen right here not on the yeah. other side the fridge down there fridge and then we have the bathroom I mean, this one, they feel bigger, larger, spacious. Uh, it's, it's nice to be inside uh, these ones, but at the same time, I, I can't imagine driving uh, through Europe, uh, through Italy, and uh, the places that we are used to go, that with these vehicles uh, is not ideal. Just only getting at our house uh, in the mountains, where it's super steep, uh, these vehicles are heavier, so if, if you find one uh, with uh, the rear wheel drives uh, and uh, with a lot of power, you can get up there. Otherwise, uh, it will be really difficult. And here we have a Mercedes, a Francia, 1997, 139,000 km, no air conditioning. I like the fact that it's, you know, higher. You feel tall, it's kind of being Lucky Liu up here. So, starting from the front, we have a huge double bed up here. Here is where you drive, no air conditioning, unfortunately. A huge bathroom right here, the kitchen, and a huge uh, lounge area, slash, uh, it can be another bed with a TV. It gives me the, the feeling, the, the smell in here is like uh, being in a boat. Well, it's not a good sign. <laughs> nice, but at the same time, I feel that it's still too big for us. I mean, maybe when we will be older and we will not want to go exploring uh, like adventures like we are used to do. So getting little roads, uh, not knowing uh, where you will be able to turn. With this vehicle, it's better if you don't attempt uh, those kind of things. No. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> and we have this one that is a 2017, 169,000 kilometers, 163 horsepower. It has air conditioning. I love the green, matte green, beautiful. So this checks all the boxes, uh, but... Uh, Definitely, the layout of this is perfect. You have the dinette, two seats, two seats in the front, storage. You have uh, uh, air conditioning? Yes. Air conditioning, then you AC. have... You can see there AC. Kitchen on this side that is covered like I like and then you have the bathroom with a sliding door and then you have a nice beautiful bed bed in the back <laughs> and with storage like and you can open the door and admire beautiful views. We have six gears uh, 163 horsepower so this one would be perfect the only point uh, 
that is not a in our checklist is the price uh, 36 almost 37 thousand euros is not in our budget uh, but it was nice to see it okay next to the next dealership yes Luca is having a chicken kebab dorum and having falafel that is vegan with chickpeas and salad and fries and some vegetables little stock for lunch and then we will continue our research okay beautiful people we are at the dealership number two of today there are a lot of vehicles to watch also here right Lucia? Yes. we are in uh, Norimberga in Nuremberg I forgot to say this morning they didn't have the documents the um, documents right yeah the, the coc it's a document that we need in order to import the vehicle in italy yeah. and register the vehicle in italy we need this uh, coc it is a certificate of con conformity certificate i don't know how, how do you to say in german is uh, coc uh, 2004 uh, 171,000 kilometers 22,000 euro and it has uh, the um, air conditioning okay you see so we have the two seats here in the front the two seats here and the bed in the back exactly the, the type of setup we are looking for Yeah. It's always the same with the fridge here, exactly like the one that we saw yesterday. This is broken, I guess. Okay, so we just figured out the, the AC is not the one uh, with the engine, uh, but it's this one. So it's the fan. It, it's yeah, it's different. Uh, but this is air conditioning or it's just a fan? I don't know, here you can see cool. Uh, okay, probably it's... I have no idea. And this will be night number two. And uh, here is where we will park and stay for the night. Uh, Sara is breastfeeding, uh, baby Luce in there. And I'm, uh, we bought a lot of things uh, for dinner. I'm getting everything set up uh, for the night. It's a huge mess in here. We have our fridge. So we will put everything that needs to go in the fridge in the fridge right now we bought some cheese uh, some uh, um, croissant uh, some salads some bread uh, some juice a lot of things so as soon as Sarah finished breastfeeding we will get everything ready we will have dinner and then go to sleep <laughs> Turn on the camera, you lose her. You lose her. <laughs> dinner time we will sleep here we found this spot on park for night an app that we used together with iovalander this is a free spot we will boondock here today was a very long exhausting day it was very hot and we visited four or five dealerships in the area of nuremberg now we will have dinner we bought some salad some typical brezel with cheese we got two. No. With cheese and Luca got some pizza. Pizza with uh, salami. Pepperoni. <laughs> like this. 
And then we have some fruit. Some salad, some uh, oil from Sicily. Yeah. And here is where we will let you go, beautiful people. Stay with us because we will visit the Düsseldorf and Köln area. So another area a little bit north from here. We are now like 50 kilometers from after Frankfurt. So in the middle of Francoforte and Düsseldorf. If you enjoy today's episode, please show it to us smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Sorry for all the loud traffic, we are very close to the main road. Yeah, hopefully later tonight uh, will be a little bit more silent. Yeah, and less uh, traffic, a little bit more quiet and uh, please uh, finger crossed, so let's hope to find a vehicle. Yeah, today we were a little bit not in a down mood but not disappointed but a little, little bit sad because even here in Germany we thought that it would be easier or better uh, compared to Italy but uh, I think the situation is uh, almost the same uh, all around Europe so yeah, they say that the market right now it's really they have a high request of campers and vans and motorhomes and so they are selling the best pieces they are selling like this like bread we said in italy yeah so pane. <laughs> so and even the prices of the new is yeah. uh, is higher so also the prices of the used vehicles uh, everything that is good uh, they are selling uh, straight away and then finding something good for three people of course is a limit for us finding something that has already all the papers good for the importation in Italy it's very difficult but fingers crossed guys we will not lose our hope we are positive we will stay positive and we hope to find the vehicle that is good for us otherwise we need to convert a van Luca yeah otherwise it's not a project that we want to do right now but if it's the last uh, uh, chance uh, the yes. last uh, option that we have uh, we will do so the italian sentence for today's episode is siamo in germania e cerchiamo un veicolo usato we are in germany and we are looking for a used vehicle siamo in germania e cerchiamo un veicolo usato we are in germany and we are looking for a used vehicle we love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and stay with us because the research continues. Beautiful people, we will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. 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 <laughs> 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 Hehehe <laughs> 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 Ha 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 